intro got me feeling hey, the type hey, of way. Hey, 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 you got you rocking today. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Hump Show. Happy Wednesday. My name is Barat Jacuzzi, the Coco Master, the Pretty Rasta, and this is episode 19 of season four. Yes, guys, we're almost at 420. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your girl, Shirley Hero. And on the decks, we have none other than DJ g g g g g g What up, what up, what up? How you doing, son? It's a good day. It's a good day. Glad you got the Hump Show. Can I just say that your afro is perfectly puffed? Oh, thanks, thanks. Can you hey. say that three times faster? Hey, perfectly puffed. Puff. Perfectly puffed. Perfectly puffed. Okay, Coco Master, <laughs> hey, pretty rasta, Coco Kings. Hey. All right, it's gonna be a good show for us. Your shirt today. is very blue. Thank you. Wow. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. Hey, if I was green, I would die. Who sang that? I iPhone 65. Okay. Oh, yeah. Your DJ got you. DJ GI. Shout Damn. out to DJ GI. I can tell it's going to be a very great very. show. You know, I feel the ambiance. Yes. It's really collective right now. Yes, guys. We have a great show for you today. We have a fantastic actress from Sense 8. Mm. Hold up. Won't tell you her name. We also have an international renowned soccer fanatic freestyler. and freestyler. It's international. Mm. Red Bull's going to put us on with that one. We're not yes, gonna, guys. We're going to leave that to then we're gonna to get announced as well. Well. Exactly, and then we're gonna get inspired by the one and only Startup Now, and then we have Party Calendar with Move Up. And Kiwango is gonna be lit, y'all. It's gonna be lit. So starting up first, let's talk to the people that always talk back to us. Yes, let's guys. shout out the good fam, the big ups. Who right. do we have today? Shout out to Katie Kiki. Katie Kiki, what go on, Katie? Katie Kiki. Hey, have you seen the Katy Perry and uh, Migos? Migos? Yeah, yeah they, they wildin'. They wildin'. Was, no, did you see her live at the? Yes, that's that was what, awkward. That's what I'm talking about. They yeah. wildin'. And Jazzy Kimani, how you doing, and Jazzy? Yes, uh, one and only Zetch is back in the building. Zetch, that's, the, that's the fam right there. Yes. Josie James, how you feeling, brother? And finally, last but definitely not least, Sam Muchiri. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Big up to the good fam. Thank you, you guys for yourselves. keeping up with us. If you want to keep on watching whatever we're watching every time that we're doing it, where can they follow us at you? Guys, make sure to hit us up on Facebook, What's Good Live, Twitter, What's Good underscore Live, Instagram, WGLive.tv. I want you to check out the motherboard of all good things coming in and out of East Africa on yes. WGNetworks.tv. That's What's Good Networks on Facebook and Instagram and at What's Good Net on Twitter. Twitter. Shoulder I love, shimmy. I love, I love that you always do the Twitter one last. Like, yeah. I, I always know that we're closing up on it when the Twitter one's not been announced. <laughs> tweet it, baby. Tweet it. <laughs> now, what had happened was. All right, what Should happened? Should I go? Go ahead, child. Drake took over the Billboard yeah. Awards. My man looked like Beyonce. And he said Nicki Minaj was the love of his life. Did you get that one? Yeah, but it's not. It's platonic it, love of okay. his life. Yeah. I don't know. No, yeah. I don't know. It no, was a bit awkward. Yeah. It was a bit... Did you hear that Nicki Minaj is celibate? Like she, I said, you know, it was a bit, it was a bit awkward. Oh, shit. It was a bit awkward. Because he was like, I'm up here with the man who made me. Why would he need to acknowledge Nicki Minaj? Because they made really dope music together that helped each other come up. Yeah, but And I she mean, came up before him. Somebody that I've made incredible music with, the love of my life, too. And he was like, the love of my life, too. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. No, That's but didn't he, he also call Rihanna? What did he call Rihanna? Uh, I've been in love with, he said I've been Yeah, he loves love everyone, him. man. He's, he's I mean, sad, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. He, you know, he's Drake a sad is, dude. Drake he loves hitting, everybody. Drake is hitting in some, some top fives. He is. Global he is. top fives. Yes. Yeah. Good for you, man. Yeah, for... shout out to Drake. You're winning. Yes. And also, yeah. shout out for you for taking award almost taking home almost all of the Billboard Awards. Yeah, top Can you imagine? Artist, he probably just made, year. like, a cupboard just for that. Yeah, he had to get a new cupboard made. Yeah, yeah just for the 2017 Billboard Awards. What do you do with those awards? Like, I, But WizKid was in, what, four of those? He was. So shout out to WizKid, Daddy-O. Going international, getting those Billboard Awards. So I just thought that was fantastic. Drake yes. killed it, man. Yeah, guys. In other news, which is yeah. very sad, at uh, over this weekend at the Manchester yes. Arena, yes. after an Ariana Grande performance, there was a terrorist suicide bombing at the arena that killed 22 people, including children, and injured 56. Wow. I heard about it. I was reading about it. It was all over every timeline on every social platform. It's who, just who it's bombs, awful. Children. Uh, you know? yeah, children. Pop, like, come team, on. You know? like a it's, pop concert. And I don't know if you, like, you've probably noticed this, that London and the UK has been a really hot target for terrorists today, mm. uh, th this year. Lately. Like, earlier uh, this year, it was the terrorist attack on London Bridge where a car just decided to head out to the sidewalk and ram everybody down, killing 11 oh, people. In, in Sweden. In London. In London, yeah, yes. Yeah, in yeah. London. Bang in London. And 
and then this happened again and now so security actually the government the prime minister has now raised uh, the security level to critical which means that they've now deployed um, UK like more UK police officers to go to Manchester and to make the city more secure and now like when now I mean think about it people festival season season is coming right around the corner like festivals attract 30,000 people to the UK even m millions actually so I just really hope that guys please stay safe if you're out there our condolences and our prayers go to Definitely. all the people that were affected by this awful um, and disgusting terrorist attack yeah. and uh, yeah guys our thoughts and our prayers are with you yeah yeah and on a lighter note we're gonna uh, we're gonna get to our first guest yes guys actress extraordinaire yes I'm happy to and proud gorgeous to say she's lady. Kenyan she's gorgeous her name is Moomba Moombi Mina and she will be talking with us she's in a new season of Sense 8 yes and, we uh, out here. I, I didn't even, you know, it's been playing on I all of it. my like commercials on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know. Have you I, watched it yet? No, I have not yet it watched is it. I have not yet watched amazing, it. Amazing, guys. So we're gonna like, talk. Oh my god. We're gonna talk more about it. Check out what happens at the Good House when we're not shooting the Hump Show. This is episode two of the Good House. Check it out right here. So my name is Amina Abdurabar, 98.4 Capital FM presenter and K24 Alpha Jury host as well. And I'm in the building. Yes! This is my first time to come through to What's Good and everything here is good. I could be in such an R and B singer, dog. <laughs> I got it down back. I'm trying. God knows I'm trying. Yeah. God knows I'm trying, baby. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, fam? It's your boy Cafe at the What's Good House, where only good things happen. Stay tuned. Peace. Okay. Okay. Four or five hours scrolling. <laughs> no toilet breaks. You are so no, with the. We all good? Very graphic we'll about like breastfeeding, yeah. what happens when you give birth, oh, and everything so in between. And that, can you imagine? So this is the set, right? I think the biggest lesson I learned, or I have learned so far, is how to just be patient with myself and patient. Yeah. So we are at the band H underscore T the band. Another singer is not around, but uh, you know how we do. My boy Jemo just hit me up the other day. He was like, yo boy, kuna job party, the sickest that's going down around Nabuda. Tuka kam kui check it out, manze. And man, we are here, man, at the Alchemist. Let's check it out. Camo alert, camo alert, camo alert. We gotta stop. Camo alert. I gotta, I gotta know.
are back. That was What Happens in the Good House when yes. the cameras aren't always on the Hump Show. Hello. And in studio right now, we have a, a voice extraordinaire. We're yes. switching, switching to different ethnicities and different cultures. We have Moonbeam Mina. Yes. Hello. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Miss <laughs> Gorgeous. How are you doing? I'm the so chocolate drop. Drop dropping in here with the yes. color schemes. Mm -hmm. I see I didn't get the memo. I didn't. Yeah, you don't. Man, you gotta stay involved. Well. You know, GI, yeah. We <laughs> were, okay, I was like, GI got me. <laughs> Y'all good. GI got me. How are you, Ruby? I'm super. So let's first talk about your outfit. Mm -hmm. Your dress, you got it from your mama. I got from it from your mama. mama. Shut up to my D D is she, is she a seamstress or is she a designer? No, she saw it and she thought. You know these things you young girls wear nowadays? I don't know. I just saw it in front of you. <laughs> but she gives hey, me a side eye. Like that? Imagine, she gives yeah. me a side and I'm like, but then you got it for me. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> hi, mom. Yes, hi, mom. <laughs> so good. your acting career, when did this begin? At what moment? What were you watching or what were you doing when you were like, this is what I want to do? I had no plan whatsoever being an actress. Um, oh. In fact, I used to dance and that was my first, mm. that is still my first uh, love. Mm. And I was taking my sister for an audition. And uh, the director just looked at me and she said, no, you know, you have to try. And I was like, huh? So literally we fought. Your yeah. sister's an actress? She, she used to act in school. Uh, okay. So um, she's just trying it out for fun. And we had a fight until she said, you know, I'm not leaving this place until I actually try. And I'm the one who's driving. I was like, crap, crap, crap. So anyway, so I did. And um, before I knew it, I got the lead role. And I thought, okay, that's great, fun time. I had no idea what I was doing on set the entire time. <laughs> but after that, um, when I went back to the corporate world, I realized I had an epiphany. And I thought, if I had all the money in the world, everything that I ever wanted, what would I be doing in my life? And I realized the one thing that I'll do, when I think about, if I woke up in the morning was doing this, I was exactly. happy. And that was it. Yeah. Isn't that wild that you didn't want to do it at first? And then you... It is, right? It's like girls. It's like, I don't like him. I feel like... <laughs> Actually, he is kind of cute. <laughs> We're going to determine someone's pivotal career change. No. <laughs> I think it was just fear. Mm, yeah, okay. It was just fear. You know, fear of the unknown. And, and you know, sometimes you need someone just give you that. Yeah, yeah something just to give make you realize that yeah. yes. yeah. you really liked it. Yeah. Definitely. And that's what happened. What, what are some of the ups and downs that you go through as an actress? Wow. Um, well, for me, what was the biggest adjustment are the downtimes mm -hmm. because, you know, you don't constantly get work. And if you're used to the corporate world or any other job where, you know, you wake up nine to five, you're doing your thing, you have your paycheck at the end of the month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Adjusting to that, not so good. Right. <laughs> it wasn't so much fun. Right. Because yeah. the process yeah. of being an actor or an actress is, you know, you, the audition, the mm -hmm. callbacks, mm -hmm. the filming, it's long. Mm -hmm. it's the post-production. Yeah. 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 So you'll, yeah. you'll do jobs maybe like in two. 2014 and then they'll you know come out maybe there 2015 2016. Yeah, wow. I mean even um, the movie the first film that I did we did in 2007 and it came out 2010. Mm. You know, wow. you have no idea what what what's going to happen. Yeah, what's yeah. So in between those 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 downtime areas what do people just keep auditioning and keep you have to keep auditioning you have to just keep putting yourself out there and improving yourself because yeah. i realize the more that you improve yourself as an actor as an individual yeah then it reflects on screen right you know so um mm -hmm. so how many auditions do you think you do a week or in a month oh man it doesn't come that easy I wish it did. I mean, I was um, one of the lucky ones who, mm. when I decided to quit my job and chose to do this, um, I got three auditions in about a month. But I think that was just the universe saying, here, here, child. Just, yeah. This just, is meant for you. I bless you. Here, you yes. know, yes. I bless thee. Stop <laughs> praying know? so loud. Yeah, like just <laughs> hush, chill, <laughs> sleep a little, have a lollipop. <laughs> I don't know, do something. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, after that, um, even if I had back to back jobs, I mean, there was a year that I think I only had like two auditions. Wow. You know? And, so what do you do, like, for rent, money, like, things like that? I moved back home. At wow. that time, that's what yeah. I chose to do. I was wow. like, this is this is something that I'm making a sacrifice for, and I yep. think it's worth it. Yep. And it paid off, you yep. know, with time. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. That yeah. takes a lot. It does. My, took a my lot. brother's also an actor. Yeah. And he all, he's always telling me, like, auditions are crazy. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, so many, the way I, I envision it is everybody looks good. Everybody's good at their job. It's mm -hmm. almost like making it in the NBA Yeah. when I think yeah. about it, because yeah. everybody in the NBA can play, but, yeah. like, some people are going to be on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, you know? but the good thing about auditions is that with every audition you learn something new about yes. your craft. 
you know you learn what you should do the next time what you shouldn't do like my first <laughs> one of my first auditions when I was trying to get back into the <laughs> it was for MTV Sugar uh -huh. and I got that the teacher. callbacks so I was like yes this is it I'm in it got it oh what like, Mutuma forget you <laughs> you know <laughs> what <laughs> anyway so um, I go for it and there were three girls and then um, there, there, there's South Africans who come in and they were you know, telling us what to do, directing, what not. I was so excited. And we did the scene and my lines were on point. And so I'm looking at this other character and I feel in my heart that the scene is over. And so I say, and cut. Oh. <laughs> No. And I look at everyone. So everyone has not. this moment, and I'm still trying to figure out, like, was I that good? good? <laughs> and I'm so, duh. I'm having a moment of, I was that good. I was really, really good. Shock. So one of the actors who's such a sweetheart, she just told me, uh, next time, just don't do that. I was like, ah. Whole character, whole character. <laughs> well, you live, you, yeah, learn, you learn, you and, move on. And now you're doing yeah. Sense8. Yes, yes. I Yes. Um, just, yeah, first of all, first of all. <laughs> Yay. You know, I see, I see <laughs> that commercial you. almost all the time. I didn't, I never really noticed it. You know, I, oh. I watch it, but it wasn't today. I was, I was today. I was with a friend of mine before we came here, and um, his name's Shopper. You know, Shopper. Yeah. Shopper, man. Yeah, he told me. Yeah. You no, know, yeah, because uh, oh, he was like, um, he's like, oh, look at movie. Oh. And then I was like, wait. Mo <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm like this is Sensei. He's like, yeah. I'm like, wait, let it play, let it play. And then so he told me, you guys. So yeah, how did how did that happen with uh, Sensei? Um, uh, wow, how do I Was it a lot in? of auditioning, a lot of callbacks? There were. I did three callbacks. Fun times. <laughs> I'm not so fun. <laughs> but, I mean, the first one went pretty well. Oh, well, obviously. And then um, the second one was nerve-wracking. I, I think I really threw myself under some bus, <laughs> so I didn't expect the third call. Um, and then the third call came in and was between me and another lady. And um, they flew us to Berlin, which was exciting. It was my first time in Europe, so I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, and that was nerve wracking. I felt like uh, I was in a reality show. Wow. I said, I'm never going to judge those people who are like the last ones who are left. You don't even what? unpack your suitcase because you have no idea what's going oh to happen God. next, you know. Like it's a tarot bank oh, moment. man. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm no, I'll never judge those people. Mm -hmm. Go cray cray. Do you, mm -hmm. but, do, you have a, do you have any of those uh, relatives who are now calling you? Uh, you know, saying, hey, I, you know, I saw you when you want to get some lunch, when you want to take me for dinner, my birthday's last year. <laughs> you know what? Hey! In fact, it's the ones who've been supporting me from the start who are now like, yo, <laughs> it's about that time. Uh -huh. No, but they've been supporting. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. So when they said you got the part, what was your first, like, what, what happened? Um, I just smiled. <laughs> I had a very awkward smile because I was trying not to do whatever you I'm were going to smile anyways <laughs> yeah, whatever they was, yeah I know so I think I practiced like <laughs> the thank smile of yeah, just, thank, I, thank you, you for so the opportunity yeah. you know <laughs> and like, like, no, you, oh, got it. you got it <laughs> yeah okay. then it took me about 10 minutes about screaming <laughs> which I did <laughs> oh and then it still didn't really hit me even after we did the table read yeah. and I met oh everyone I mean because the whole cast was there I still even the ones from the different countries all of them were no. there wow. all of them they were all in Berlin it was crazy I couldn't wow. I couldn't even it was all very surreal That's nice. but it really hit me when I got to the airport Nairobi mm. I landed I was that chick <laughs> random tears running down my Aww. face. I know, I'm very mushy. But anyway, no, so yeah, so I've had very many different reactions. Yeah. That's what's up. So when I got the news. So, <laughs> so has, has your inbox increased with, uh, you know, male followers? Has your male following percentage uh, uh, here, and, here and there. Wow. <laughs> we just kill the what? I was, we're still we're just we're asking, more questions. Land, we're asking more questions. <laughs> okay, we're asking more questions. They want to know. The people want to know. The male percentage they wants do. to know. Okay, yeah, the male percentage. They, they want to know about that chocolate drop. <laughs> chocolate yeah, drop. Damn, know. bro. I like the way I put that. Damn. <laughs> chocolate drop. Look she, at well, she, looks like, she looks like a chocolate drop. It is very... Very chocolatey. The male percentage also feels the same way. Now, <laughs> your new series, this Pan-African series coming up. Mm. Tell us about that. Oh, that's exciting. It's called Titi Divas. It's going to have um, from Ghanaians to South Africans to Nigerians mm. to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was supposed to be just a Kenyan show. Mm -hmm. But then, thank God, you know, it's, it's it got expanded. expanded yeah. Yeah. It's a great story. It's about um, four very strong female women who are very divadicious, obviously, as the name <laughs> goes but the the way we're trying to portray the show is a lot of african 
fabulous strong women, women. Mm. Yes, you know yes. in fact all of them <laughs> it's odd they look so typically African in any other way that I can put it <clears throat> like baba boom if yeah. you know what I mean yeah, but it's a natural <laughs> it's delicious natural. Mm-hmm. four days but natural hey. <laughs> yes. sent by yeah. the gods oh yeah mm. oh yeah when can people expect it to be out End of this year. End of That's this year. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, we gotta have you back before the show premieres. Yes, 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 yes and definitely. Too. And if people wanna follow you, where can they hit you up and you know keep up with what Moonbi Mine is doing? All right, on Twitter, Moonbi underscore Minor. I have the same buddy for everything. <laughs> on Instagram is Moonbi underscore Minor. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. So to answer the gentleman's question, yeah. mm-hmm. are you single? You didn't ask that. I've well, I think I've he was I trying really to. No, he didn't ask. I don't know what he's talking about. Are the DMs <laughs> popping? That's what yeah, when I was talking about okay. DMs. Oh, yeah, right. the DMs. The DMs. Damn, I'm, maybe my vernacular was a little too joined. a little too hip. <laughs> It's true. Not it's like true. hip, like just, you it's know. True, man. My shang is a little true. too today. Since the other day, I learned how to dab, so it's, it's true. I get it. <laughs> I, I, I would suggest you don't do it anymore, actually. <laughs> no, I have, I have my own dab. Okay. My dab. Oh. Like, you know, any dab sweat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the lady dab. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ladies. So are, are you gonna are you gonna answer the yes, question? Yes, I'm gonna answer. I'm really, I'm really you know, trying to answer. Like dabbed, going everywhere. She just out of the question just now. She pulled amigo. She just pulled amigo. <laughs> yes, I am single. Oh, okay. That's ready that's to mingle? <laughs> you heard it, guys. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> she's just showing a little bit of. We're gonna go to you break. Guys. We're gonna yes, go to guys. break. You guys. Thank you so Thank much you so for much. joining us. Thank you oh so my goodness. goodness. Thank, Thank you so much, much Moby Minor. Make sure you guys check out everything that she's got going on. Sense A, her new series, De- Divalicious. City Divas. City Divas. City Divas. City Divas. City Divas. I can't wait for that one. I can't, I can't wait either. Wait <laughs> Finally, it's like an African Sex in the City. Oh, thank you. Thank that's you. Only way more fabulous. Well. I was trying so hard not to actually say this. Like, yes, I'm glad that yes, you said it. Yes, Thank yes. You. Thank yeah, you so and my character is yeah. very controversial. So. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. You want to watch it. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk to a football freestyler, football extraordinaire, Takura, and he's going to be speaking with the Red Bull. Check out his first day in Kenya right here on the recap. This is the Hump Show. Moomba Mina. Moombi Mina. Oh, my gosh. Moombi. Moombi, Moombi. You just got him on the fuck. Keep your eyes on the best. <laughs> Oscar Jagla, Natuka Kawangware, Na Jobiang Mufana Freestyle, Freestyle Soccer, Mu and uh, my event, my function, Mu perform Pia Cost Street. Uh, let's uh, what I say, my two any kinds of entertainment. Ya yeah, Mufana is on to mob. Ya Pia in Duena in an Ekia in an Ekingam Kate Kwameza, Chokula. Yeah, so this is this is more than sports to me. And it's more than life to me, freestyle soccer. Nyaje. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, check out more of them by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Check out our website. Boop, and boop, boop, us boop, 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 bo
welcome back. We're in the building with Red Bulls on Taxi and Tokura Football Extraordinary. How are you, my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 that is yeah. my name is, but I just like yeah. our oh, name. Yeah, you know, okay, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Nice. How are you enjoying uh, yeah. Kenya so far? Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying already. Uh, I want. I, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, Kenya is really nice country for Thank me uh, because the weather is nice yes. and the weather, yes. Yes. Yeah, food also yeah. and people are really kind and yeah. everybody funny for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> That is, yeah. that is Kenya, that is Nairobi. <laughs> have, have, you been, have, you, have you been to like uh, anywhere outside of Nairobi? Yes, uh, I know. In Kenya, only Nairobi. But oh. uh, before here, I went to uh, Tanzania. Ah, yeah. nice. nice. Yeah. Have you eaten the food? <laughs> yes, uh, goat. Kenyan food is way better, right? C goat. Go and Yama Choma. Uh, go. Yama Choma. Goat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. Nice. Yeah. Do you like it? Yes. It because, wants to go uh, back to the same spot today. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What spot was this? Um, a place called Kilimanjaro. It's, um, it's in, in CBD. Town. Yeah, he wanted to have... In town? Like, right yeah, up he's there next to Java? Exactly. I know that Because story, he's always wanted to have African food. Yeah. What did you get him? The honey goat? Have, um, he chose to have uh, grilled goat meat. Okay. He liked it and he yeah. wants to have the same. Yeah, Kilimanjaro. Nice. Kilimanjaro yeah. is a great place. Yeah. It's yeah. a great yeah. restaurant. I loved it. Great choice. Great nice. choice. <laughs> so, how do you feel being outside of Japan? Yeah, uh, I have a lot of travel mm -hmm. in in a year, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm yeah always happy to be go to the another countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I I'm happy to also uh, I can know. Mm -hmm. uh, different culture. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It is so important for the heart. Yes. Definitely. Yes. yes. When you first started um, playing football and just getting yeah. engaged with this sport, did you know? Did you? Was it always your plan that it was going to take you to travel all over the world? No. 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 I couldn't imagine like wow. uh, right now. Yeah. yeah. So how did it? How did it even start? When did you realize like um, this is something big? This is something bigger than just actually a fun hobby? Yes. Uh, I started the uh, football research at 13 years old 13 yeah uh, and now you're uh, 25 okay yeah eight years ago yeah and uh, uh, in 2006 nobody doing football freestyle uh, that's why uh, just for fun I beginning for just for fun yeah and how did how did you uh, did did you have to do a lot of competitions Yes, not a lot, but some oh. we have some competition uh, uh, in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. So, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want football to do for you in the future? Like, do you want to start your own uh, club, or do you want to make it uh, fo freestyle football a sport? Yes. Like uh, um, I'm Olympic hope, sport. Yeah, I hope to, to. I hope to. This sport will be bigger. It's yeah. good for us, and uh, also, I'm. Um, I hope uh, everyone knows this sport. Yes. Yeah, and uh, ho hope to them uh, them like it mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, having fun. Yeah. I, I Do your parents? Mm -hmm. yeah. How long did it take you to learn mm. to play that? Uh, to learn the tricks, the moves. Yes. A uh, few tricks. Mm -hmm. Easy. Really easy. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think one month. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get some tricks. Okay. Yeah. Then. Uh, yeah, I practicing uh, 10, 11 years already. Wow. Yeah, that's why I can do a lot of tricks. Right. Yeah, but uh, before that, I never do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's why everybody can do yeah, yeah, the tricks. tricks. Yeah. yeah. Yes. How old are you? 25. So you were doing this since you were 15? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And you used to play soccer with your friends before? Yeah, before uh, I played soccer and football, mm -hmm. but I had uh, uh, some accident. Oh, no. Then uh, I can not play football after that. Then I changed the yeah the plan. way to do yeah, it. Way, yeah, way. Nice, smart. Yeah. 
And Ooh. now you're a global sensation. Now you're a global freestyle footballer. Yeah. Shout <laughs> out to you. that. That's how you do it. What do your parents think about your mm. career choice? Yeah, I I hope they are happy. Yeah. yeah and are uh, they? Most <laughs> <laughs> they are. Yeah. Uh, and do uh, they do they like what you or do, you, do they do they tell you that they like it or they don't? Yeah, they do like. They yeah. like it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice, nice. How is uh, the culture in Japan when it comes to the sport? Is it very big or is it small like here? Yeah, I think very big now mm. because 10 years ago, very few people doing football mm. freestyle. But now, uh, one competition, over 100 people compete. Oh, wow. Yeah, very b- big now. Nice, yes. over 100 people. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So, how long will you be in Kenya? How long will you be here? Uh, already six, five or six days, mm-hmm. and I have to go back to Japan tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Do you got no. a you got a, a woman waiting on you there in Japan? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? You got a girlfriend uh, waiting on you when you get back? <laughs> I can't. I couldn't. You, no? you couldn't do a girlfriend. You single? Yeah, I'm single. You single. Can't, why, why uh, you, say you, you travel too you much. You travel, yeah. Yeah. Tra- you travel too much to be in a relationship. Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, that's interesting. My boy got his player here. Smart hands man. Strong. He's yeah. got a plan. Yeah. Man with the plan. So how does Red Bull fit into this? Did you guys bring him? Are you guys d- throwing the activations? Um, one he is a Red Bull athlete. Nice. Travels around the world. Brand. I mean, that can't handle yeah. girlfriend, man. I'm out here with Brett Bull, 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 What? What you trying to say, man? He's chasing the, the pipe now. He is the global freestyle champion. Like he beat everyone else once from again. Wow. The world. I can't handle girlfriend, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, I'm the global freestyle champion, man. So what we did is we invited him over to come to Kenya. Why? Because we had uh, freestylers from Kenya who kept approaching our office. Yeah, Ali is there where you can support us. Mm-hmm. So we had one who we took on a tour to different countries. We traveled like six countries in Europe mm-hmm. from Kenya. Mm-hmm. So we thought wow. it was ideal for him to come and actually do uh, several shows with local uh, football freestylers. Mm-hmm. So that's what he's been basically doing. Have you met some good freestylers here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we performed with two guys. Um, they had uh, already good skills. Yeah. Have you seen so, him do anything? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm his <laughs> coach. What has this guy been doing? I am his coach. <laughs> Dude, he's been feeding you. I am. Yeah, he's giving food. you cash. Don't let him just overdose you on the food. Faster, faster. Let me. So, um, Tokura, just Hi. a question. Huh? Yeah. Now, you, um, having showcased the skills at the global yeah. platform, right? And yeah. you coming here and actually. Um, showcasing skills alongside yeah. uh, freestylers from here. Yes. Like, how would you gauge? How would how, how would you gauge the spot locally? Uh, how 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 what? What would you say our level of uh, yeah. how ah, good rather, are we yes. at yeah. this sport uh, here in Kenya? Are we good? Are yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they uh, uh, difficult to win competition, mm-hmm. I think, because they have original skills like uh, African style. Right. It's, uh, oh, really, okay. really nice. Nice. Yeah. But uh, competition is uh, uh, has a lot technique. of yeah technique mm. and a lot of rules and right yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can't do like this yeah, and that yeah. has to be very structured mm. yes 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 that's wow. why okay. difficult to win the competition right but I'm I'm much respect with uh, uh, African style yeah yeah very that's fun awesome. yeah very funny yeah we got and some they, rhythm to our yeah. ball throwing yes. you know they yes. always yes. need a water exactly. boy Jaxi you could <laughs> be the you could get him some water <laughs> yeah. could you get us some water yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> not sure <laughs> not <laughs> hey. but him yes man right, amazing sure. well sure. thank, thank, you. thank you so much thank you thank you so thank much thank you I got to you gotta show us something you gotta you gotta stay around and show us a little something out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll record we something got... after. Yeah, okay. yeah, just for, for sure. you guys. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. For sure. Coming up next, we're gonna start to the guys from Startup Now, and right now we're gonna show you a video that I think is incredible. I love it. It's amazing. You should check it out. <laughs> it's my video it's called Rob Jacuzzi. Tell me something. Keep it locked to the Hump Show. Sakura, once again, keep it locked. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Borak, how do you feel today, man, right now, at this very moment? Peaceful, man. More just, you know? Just want to make more music, get inspired, re-inspired, create, recreate, 
You do it all over again. sentence now my brother telling me to simmer down but my squad looking like the winner now you better bundle up she want to cuddle up as i wear her out like some hand-me-downs when i'm back in town that's the mac in town that's facts we back to the back to the mojo yeah back to the mama crib eating so full yeah back to the pigs get back like don't move yeah back to the winning team like ain't lose so what you want to do just tell me something Show me something. Mr. First, he needs cold. Sixteen like, needs a dojo. Go become a monster. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, what it's yeah, all about, yeah. baby. Hey. <laughs> we can hit the pool and chill. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah. yeah. It's Mr. Tell me something. Tell me something. Ooh. I love that song. I love that song. Now man, check shout it out. out to that video. That video shout was fresh, that guy. man. Shout but, out to that guy. Shout but, out to the raw filmmakers <laughs> who made that video. We're back yes. with Startup Now CEOs, partners in Startup Now. Amazing. Wilkins and Justice. How are you, brothers? We're good. Welcome to the Hump Show. Just first of all, Thank applause you. for being two independent, strong CEOs. With a great mission, with a, with a business, with a great mission. Uh -huh. And a great hat. That is a great hat, yes, And a great hat. Yes. Go ahead, put it on the Put it on top of the headphones. Go ahead, you better. Ladies, screenshot it. Wilkins, you better. Hey, so for those who don't know what Startup Now is, mm -hmm. give us a quick brief about it. Well, um, Startup Now is an is a entrepreneurship and management company. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, we started it with a, with a vision of growing Africa's startup ecosystem into sustainability. And uh, we also try as much as we can to like grow different startups from different um different sectors mm. um, to sustainability and to viability by connecting them to um, to investors and different resources. What encouraged you or made you even want to start up a business like Startup Now? Because it doesn't seem like mm -hmm. it doesn't give you immediate 
uh, mm. income from you know helping someone else with mm. Startup Now. So what made it happen? I think it's because of the challenges that I faced when starting up another company, it's mm -hmm. Fashion Touch. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy. I think one of the challenges that we faced was um, getting access to investors. Right. Then by then we was very very young, right. and you know, getting again like mentorship from top business leaders. You know, this. Some time yeah, from yeah, them. yeah, yeah, some like, time from yeah, the people can really just, snob you. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I think we so many people out there, so many young guys, so many people who have viable ideas, yes, they're facing the same challenges, definitely. And so I thought, okay, let's create something that can really tackle mm -hmm. all these challenges. And you know what, like, they do have like mm -hmm. uh, this, I uh, this uh, concept, yeah. of having um channels which is yeah. start up now mm -hmm. to lead you to investors and partners mm -hmm. they have those but it's for the elite yeah, it's yeah. for the one percent to just mm -hmm. so it's like you know a recycled system because they're just talking to each other there's yeah. no chain of, there's no chain you know yeah. so what you guys are doing is is amazing because you know people especially millennials as mm -hmm. they call us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to millennials you don't what? like that i don't know i find it like <laughs> why another it? label like what is the need it, i was born in 91 what is that? Uh. Anyways, so the I, because a lot of people you, like you love it. You're, you're like I'm a millennial Moju. I like it. So because uh, a lot of people in our generation mm -hmm. um, are very entrepreneurship minded. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of us have a lot of ideas that we want to pursue, uh -huh. but a lot of the challenges that come to us, personally I think, especially in Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. starting a business here is incredibly difficult. Yeah. To find Definitely. the crowd, to find the investors, to find the you know the people that you need. So how did you first get mm -hmm. in contact with the people that you're connecting uh, these young entrepreneur entrepreneurs with? Uh, well, I think for us, um, what we always tell everyone like out there, I think you see right now in, we're in a digital world, and mm -hmm. I think that's that that has really worked for us because we've really um, mastered the art of like you know digital PR in terms of how we how how we are expressing our vision out there how we are connecting people digitally out there then I think it's it's a matter of being aggressive and going to so many events you know yeah, trying really as much as hands yeah, on. yeah exactly so I think that's one of the things that has really helped us in you know in building up startup now yeah to the way it is like going to events mm -hmm. meeting up with people you know, just being super aggressive. Eh? So, <laughs> so far, how how many uh, people or businesses has Startup Now um, helped or reached? Well, uh, right now, compared to from from let's say, because we are running another incubation center, mm. so incubation center plus Startup Now, I think right now we have uh, fifteen businesses. Wow! Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And what's the what's the process? Yeah, shout out to that. Shout mm -hmm. out to that. That's, that's a big deal. What's mm -hmm. the process for people that want to uh, get the help from startup now? Well, um, as long as you have a viable business idea and 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 the business is um, it's it's sustainable, then it has a very strong social impact. Because you see, our um, our main mission is to design businesses that uh, that solve some of the top challenges faced in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's one. That's. Oh. <laughs> That's one Challenges of our main. <laughs> this is one of the problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurting our people. Well, uh, <laughs> it felt so cool. Too. <laughs> it's well, it's gone, yeah. So, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. You can, you can oh bring it back. God. It's you, okay. You, yeah, so, you, well, can, you can reapply. I can do it, yeah. So uh, basically, <laughs> that's um, that's our vision, yeah. Yeah. Just to make sure that we're designing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Cool. Those are the yeah. things. Yeah. 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 Um, Justice. Yes. yes. Okay. As, Change as the you saying, <laughs> let me let me save him. So as For you sure. were saying, uh, save him. Um, uh, what what you're trying to do is um, getting to, to those businesses that are trying to solve problems in Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we have this monthly entrepreneurial hangouts. So um, we bring together. Um, we bring together mentors, mm -hmm. um, young entrepreneurs, um, people with business ideas, and then they need to work, get contacts, and mm -hmm. then share the experiences. Sounds great. The hangouts, yeah. So when's the next one? Where will it be? Um, the next hangout will be this Saturday at Nexus on, on Gong Road. Nice. Yeah. And what time? It will be from 12 p.m. And 12 who's PM. speaking? Um, we have a couple of speakers. Mm -hmm. um, he'll, he'll share more on that. Well, the I'm back, I'm yes. back, I'm Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. <laughs> After commercial break. <laughs> well, uh, we have awesome speakers this Saturday. We mm -hmm. have uh, Wawira Jiro, 
Um, just she's, for people who don't know who these people are, maybe just yeah. give them like a one line who they are. Yeah. Like CEO of or. Well, we're in Jiru is the CEO of Food for Education program. I think wow. it's one of the best uh, programs that have that really contributing to like making sure that children are out there in school by yes. giving them food. Yes. You know. Um, so we have Owira Njiro, she'll mm -hmm. be speaking about social entrepreneurship. Mm. Then we have, um, we have Colin Sinjera. Nice. So Colin Sinjera basically will be speaking about, um, how to juggle between employment and, and passion. Like, yeah. Love like that. basically, yeah, yeah. Oh, like great. basically how, cause you know, Colin Sinjera is also a PR practitioner. Yeah. So basically, um, I had no idea. yeah, I had no idea. yeah, yeah. He, he plays rugby as well as a yeah. PR, PR guru, something what? like that. Yeah, yeah. That's so crazy. basically, we'll be talking about uh, how to build a sustainable brand, but mm. again, at the same time, you're still employed. Then we have uh, um, Okota. He's a, he's a, he, la he runs a digital company, something like that. So basically, we'll be talking about how to uh, how digital marketing can play a big role to entrepreneurs. Right. Then the last one is Nick Nick Larson. Nick Larson yeah. basically will talk about solar energy and, I love and this. sustainability and stuff like that. Amazing. You're covering yeah. all fields. Yeah, mm -hmm. this sounds yeah. great. It's this incredible. Is, once again, tell us again where and what time. <coughs> Nexus, uh, it's located uh, on Gong Road. Just behind Nakamoto Prestige. Okay. Yeah. And it's on Saturday from 12 p.m. Yeah. until. Yeah. yeah. And is there a cover I mean, charge? No, no, it's free. It's free. No cover Ladies charge. and gentlemen, you guys, and we have cakes. We have cake. And, and there's biscuits. Food. Come on. <laughs> biscuits. Hey, I, I love saying biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. I love saying biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. But and it's, it's gonna be and it's gonna be food and beverage. Yes. So that's yeah. what's up, man. I think you guys are doing something seriously, seriously necessary. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, necessary. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I think something something that we're trying to put out there, something amazing about the event. The two two important things about uh, startup now entrepreneurs hangout. One is that uh, people who have like a viable business ideas get to pitch their business ideas and get uh, shortlisted for funding. Then the second is uh, we try as much as we can to celebrate um, two startups, one that is being run by uh, a, a man and one that's being run by a gentleman. So basically we celebrate them. and By give a man and a gentleman? Yeah. No, by, um, <laughs> man and by a man, <laughs> by a lady and, oh, and a gentleman. I, was, like, <laughs> I, was, I didn't know this was some new futuristic, you know, entrepreneur. Okay, by, yeah. by a man and a woman. All yeah, right. so we also give a chance to those kind of startups to like launch the startup Word. to our, our platform. That's what's up. And where can, where can people follow you if they want to, you know, follow you guys? Uh, we on Facebook at Startup Now by Wilkins and uh, Twitter Startup Now Kenya, Instagram Startup Now by Wilkins. Thank you Amazing. guys so much, man. I really enjoy what you and guys are doing. Good studios as well. And I can't <laughs> wait to see, hey. see more about yes. it. Yeah. And so, we're going to be at the event, so guys, make sure to come down. We're also yep. going to be live streaming the event. Oh, Ooh. lovely, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So uh, Saturday from 12 p.m., catch them at the Entrepreneur Hangout. Uh, right behind uh, Naku. Startup Now Entrepreneurs Hangout. Startup Now Entrepreneur Hangout. Start now, <laughs> I, I just said the Entrepreneur Hangout. I thought it was like the you Startup Now opinions. Entrepreneur hangout. hangout. No, yeah. you missed Startup Now. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. But guys, yeah, make sure to come down. Start. Okay, so. Make sure to come down to the Startup <laughs> Entrepreneur Hangout that's happening at Nexus this yes, Saturday yes. from 12 p.m. That's on Gong Road. Coming up next, what do we got, Barack? We got Monroe and Kiwangu. They're going to be performing at Omarion live yeah. happening next weekend. I also will be performing. Yeah. And we're going to talk to them. We're gonna, we got, I, we, I've been trying to get them in the studio for too long. So they've been they've been dodging me. And we're going to settle we're gonna this find out right why. now. So stay, keep it locked to the Hump Show. Start up now once again. In the building. Thank keep you. it locked. Party calendar coming up. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. The first thing you need is call calls. The second thing you need is a dojo. Go become a master. This is G Code. Coco Master Team. I be that young cooler. Kenyan, Ferris Bueller. Ay. Middle name could be Shuja, ay, leader of the new schooler, ay, and don't leave me around your mama, I could turn her to a cougar. It is so good, have her looking like Kuda, then I take it to the hood, and I'm passing her to scuba, yeah. Y'all ride the wave, let me call her Uber. Y'all niggas acting, that's that Nick Matuma. Chain hanging on my neck like an Oompa Loompa. Cause I'm in the game, you on the bench. 
Yeah, my name's Barack, yo, should be Jeff I call the shot, you just call and collect I've been working all year for that next year check On the baddest on the mic, you better pay your respect One night on this thing and I could pay your rent Yeah, I'm really like Mike when it come to this shit I be that young, young Coco Master Tigo Wano when you see me on the Coco Master Young, young Coco Master I'ma pull us to the scene, that's the Coco's nigga Tigo wanna when you see me on the Coco Musta Young, young Coco Musta Tigo wanna when you see the boy Hey, I'm Mr. Mwemwega I'm way fresher Pull up in that all black in the jacket all leather uh, It's a Friday, I'm sipping on whatever Find me in the parking lot pimping, that's forever The money gon' fold, I can never under pressure My team and this team getting bread like Panera, yeah and baby shake that thing like Shakira, yeah But that is just coming straight up out Atlanta I'm the coolest Mora Soka in a Kenyan bandana On the way to be a legend But for now I'm in the making If you wanna get to hating, get in line with that You don't ever see me chilling, got no time for that In the dojo with the cocos where you find me at Put my city on my back like a Cairo prac And then I skip the line, grab the mic and let the hoes attack I'm at the front while she busting the back And I that Coco. young, young Coco Musta Tigo Wano when you see me on the Coco Musta Young, young Coco Musta I'ma pull us to the scene, that's the Coco's nigga Hey, young, young Coco Musta Tigo Wano when you see me on the Coco Musta Young, young Coco Musta Tigo Wano when you see the boy Hey Make it look easy, you make it look cheesy on that young old DZ. Busy on my greasy, hair still peasy. Women going peasy when they see me. And if you don't believe me, just check it out. Keep about two chains hanging from my neck, yeah. Got about two dames ready to give me Becky, yeah. Move like the president, and at the same damn time, I be working like a Mexican. If it ain't about the money, it's irrelevant. I'm just here to make sure it's still coming in. The care where, baby, I ain't like your water man. But Roger Jacuzzi be the baddest in the motherland. I got it wrapped like a mummy man. I got a stack in a rubber band, chilling in my other hand. The flow hotter than the summer man. That's why your girl a fan, she gon' get a 10 key. I be that young, young Coco Master. Tigo Wano when you see me on the Coco Musta Young, young Coco Musta I'ma pull us to the scene, that's the Coco's nigga Hey, young, young Coco Musta Tigo Wano when you see me on the Coco Musta Young, young Coco Musta Tigo Wano when you see the boy They're all like, <laughs> yay, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to the Up Show. We have uh, the one uh, and the only. Hey, the I put my headphones on. Hey, from the EA wave. From the East African <laughs> wave. Hey, good to see you. It's good hey, to have hey, you, man. Hey, How are hey. you doing, Dreadlock, brother? Hey. Damn, what show did I walk into? Like, the hey, Hump hey, Show. Hey, 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 we hey. get you over the Hump. We eh? go from one culture to the next. Oh, it's the hey, Italian Hump yeah. Show. Yeah. Right, right, right. It does. I, I, I the fingers. fingers. What is this? Right. Uh-huh. Is there right. glitter in your pocket? <laughs> like, what, what are you trying to sprinkle? Just, uh, is it, man, is, What's going on? Anyway, Moro, thanks for coming, man. How you doing? I'm cool, man. How you doing? I'm cool, man. How you doing? You're swagged out. Man. To the max. You've been on fire lately, bro. You have. Man, she was always gassing me, bro. Let's just, go, let's just dive right into it, bro. <laughs> just not even gonna let me speak. <laughs> I ain't gonna let me speak, man. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> All right, shut up. Damn. Okay. I'm, I'm leading this interview. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Up, this bro? is my ship now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm the host now. Okay. Like I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't look at that. I don't look at that guy. <laughs> oh, I was not ready for this. Can somebody put the picture of that guy next to my face or something? <laughs> yeah. Somebody gotta do that. Somebody put okay, that. Okay. Okay. Let's start chatting shit. Let's start. Okay. So you're gonna play <sighs> on the same stage as a Marion. How, how does that make you feel? Do you feel some type of way, or are you like, is that easy? Hey, touch, man. Oh yes. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Man, a lot of people don't know that song. It surprised me mm-hmm. how many people do not know that song. That is a fight. You know it? Oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 
I hey, man, gotcha. hey man, you got me with that. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, bro. I was looking around like, whoa, whoa. So hard. Oh my god. My bad, my bad. It's been a long day. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for that. It's so be with the amount of work that you pump out, how many hours in a day do you sleep? <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> <Whoa>. know. Uh, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I pass out at like three and wake up at nine. Sometimes you pass uh, out at two and wake up at midday. I mean Okay. It varies. Yeah. It varies. You get it in, man. Yeah, yeah, we get it in. He knows. Now I saw that you were on the Singleton um, poster mm. to uh, DJ. Are you DJ? Because uh, once I saw you on the lineup, I was like, well, you know, Marone hasn't got yeah, behind I knew, the... I knew he was going to do it. Marone hasn't it. got behind the turntables oh, in a while. Man, I might. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Yeah, okay, so with that answer being that answer, you were a DJ. Where you, you started, you came from DJ, and that's yeah, how yeah, I yeah. found out about you. That's the way most people know about you from you know, the beats you've made or just events you've DJed at. When was it that you decided, you know what, you know, I, I got I gotta touch the mic, man. <laughs> man since I first tried it, bro. It's, it's so like, when you first started DJing and you were DJing, you always knew, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna end up on that microphone. Oh yeah, man. I used to write songs back in like school and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Like it was like I I was just waiting for that moment to actually be like, all right, I'm a I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna step behind it. You know, you know, you, you know. It takes a lot before you before you do that. Was there a lot of uh, so there, was there a lot of years of just uh you know recording yourself playing <laughs> on your own microphone? Oh hell yeah. I got Nobody a lot of knows. bad takes. A <laughs> lot of bad takes. Oh, oh good. yeah, man. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. It's been you know it's been a journey, man. But yeah, you know it all works out. You know if you keep trying it. Yeah, man. And so how did you and Kiwangu? Uh, end up linking up because he was almost like an unset fifth <laughs> member of the EA way he was you know for, for a while yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was confused like I was like come on to the EA way <laughs> is that cosmic I was Should confused be, so when, I, when I found hell. out that you guys were going to do a joint mixtape it, uh -huh. it made so much sense so how uh -huh. did you guys end up linking up together man and where's the mixtape? <laughs> first of all, first of all, I, question I, B. I, I, I would get to that, but but what man. happened was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the story with that is, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, we just linked up, man. Real, recognized, real. That's a player partner, man. Nice. We just, you know, we we chopped it up, and we was like, we was in the studio like all the time together. We was always on the same wavelength. So it was like, mm -hmm. man, why not, bro? I mean, I love this you, man. <laughs> God damn, man. Can you find your son? That's what I'm talking about, man. Somebody got to take a picture of that, man. Go frame that. Put it somewhere. Did you but just I, profess your love to him, or were you quoting what Kiwango would have said to him? I was. That's what I was quoting. Oh, because then the high five kind of threw us all off. So did you Did you think I said I love you? Uh, right? Like that. Oh, shit. I, I you guess thought so. I said I love you? Yeah. I do. Fact. That's not what I was saying. Man. Oh. <laughs> No, that's right. not bro what I was saying. It's not what I was saying. It's a little bit of bro <laughs> Everything is going over the heads with us on this one. Man, you so, got to talk in the ear and shit. I'm like, you got to say it. Not hello? So hello? Man, bro, it's going to be a blooper. Damn. Okay, so, so you guys just linked up because, yeah. you know, the vibes was right. Mm -hmm. Now, when can we expect to get this project from Man. Kawango and Moreau? Real talk. Like, real talk. Because we're still getting the features ready and getting everything, like, just... It's to be you know, announced. Perfect. It's to be announced. To be announced, man. I keep, yeah. I keep sending a date, man, and then you know stuff happens, and you know it's up and down, up and around, and it's like, ugh, man. So I'm like, when I have a final solid date, mm. yeah, yeah, y'all gonna get it. But I mean, there's two singles about to pop up, like, um, so, like everywhere on Apple Music, Spotify, you know, iTunes, wherever the works. Like, they're about to pop up real soon. So once they pop nice. up, y'all will know. Any yeah. visuals? Not yet. But okay, in yeah, the works. In the works. in the works. In the works, man. This is, you know, it's still very, you know, a very delicate project. So, you know, we're trying mm -hmm. to take time with it. What does it sound like so far? It's it's eclectic, I'm going to say that. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's all around, man. There's joints for the ladies. There's joints for the clubs. There's joints when you're just mad and want to yell out. There's joints when you turn up and you just want to party. You got so much love. There's joints when, I mean, it's just, it's an all around like, it's an all around body of work that just, that yeah, that just shows what, you know, what we go through. I mean, yeah. you know, just as a young artist, you know, as young males, young black sexy males. I mean, it's mm -hmm, just, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> man, just gotta throw that in throw there. Throw it in there, yeah. dog. Spice it up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 done though. I mean, yeah. Not everybody, you know, everybody's a black, you know, all the males <laughs> in the country are black males, but not everybody couldn't be a black sexy male. Is that, I think that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, that's, that's. Yes. Is that? That's, that's, uh, yeah. that's what we're saying, yeah. Shiro. Oh, are you that's crazy? What we're oh, man. So, <laughs> when you were performing at Blankets, were you performing any unreleased music? Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. 
uh, with uh, Marion coming up this weekend, mm-hmm. will we can we expect any unreleased music? A lot of it. In fact, none of the songs that we're performing. Well, actually, no, I lie. Uh, we're gonna do damage. We're gonna do um, feeling. So yeah. You lied to me. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> nah, we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I felt so bad. So I was like, oh man, did I lie? <laughs> do it again. Shatter his soul. Shatter his soul. But yeah, yeah. Expect a lot of unreleased music. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Does does a uh, stage presence and performance, like, do, is that something that you that you uh, practice mm-hmm. while you're getting ready to perform, or is that something that just comes naturally on the stage? Well, I mean, yeah, it comes naturally when I see what you know what I got to work with. You know, I'm always up and down, running up and down, jumping on bass bins, on speakers, trying to climb whatever we can climb. You know, that's why <laughs> I got my skinny jeans on because you know yeah. the mic fits perfectly. You know, you can climb whatever and yeah. you're good. You just wrap it out, you know, whip it out, and you know, get back to singing. So yeah, right. I mean, yeah, stage presence, physics. you know, <laughs> physics. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta put it somewhere safe so when you're climbing stuff, it I doesn't mean, yeah, fall. You yeah. know, right? You know, traction. You know, yes. kind of stuff. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> My man's a genius. <laughs> this guy, this My guy. man's got it straight. Are you are you dating? No. Okay. Are you not? Ooh, That's man. crazy. Oh, you just oh, slid in there. Oh man. Woo. I like that. Woo. My man. Wow. Mm. All right, all right. Hey, well, speaking hey. of dating, let's talk about some dates where we're going to tell you where to get it popping at this weekend. Good segue. You know, it's always popping in Nairobi. Now, Very Friday, good. the 26th of May, we have Trilogy Friday with Noise on Demand and DJ. Is that I T Y M? I don't know. I T Y M. One. Sounds like one, one time. time. Ah, ah. I got you on the trivia. Oh I, 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 caught I, like, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. I was like, wait, that's a one. What? <laughs> and then you got me. So, and DJ one hey. time happening at Jiqua Tavern and Trilogy. Oh no, it's happening at the Jiqua Tavern. Sorry. Jiweka. 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 Jiweka Tavern. Y'all laughing at? I didn't know. G Wacken Tavern. I've never been there. G Wack. G Wack. G Wack. G Wack Tavern. You know, you guys should hire, a, you know, a lingu- a translator for me. A, then. a lingu- what? A lingu- <laughs> <laughs> like a lingu- a linguinator. I need, a, I need the linguinator now. Okay. He needs a linguinator. Linguinator, oh activate. God. You guys are jerks. Do, 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 lucky. You know, oh my God. Let's, um, oh my God. moving What's on swiftly. Mr. and Miss oh World God. Kenya 2017 auditions. Do you feel like you could be the next Mr. or Miss World Kenya? Hey, then hey. you need to pull up and apply to be the next Mr. or Miss World Kenya 2017. The auditions are from the 27th to the 28th of May at CK Square, Two Rivers Mall. And you can also register at www.missworldkenya.com. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's going to be a lot of... And then uh, obviously Afropop is coming up on mm-hmm. June sex. 3rd. Yes, Afropop. Afropop K-E. So, oh, Marion. Barack, <laughs> you're on the lineup. Yes, that's true. How do you feel? I feel great. What do you what 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 are we gonna, gonna expect from the Coco Monster? Yeah. We're getting nasty. We're getting super sexy. Cause I Let know Marion's gonna get sexy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I know Monroe's gonna go for the sexy <laughs> thing as he's already put that word out there. So I'm also throwing it out there like blam. So it's gonna go down. Like what? Blam. 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 Splat. Splat. Ugh. Sploosh. <laughs> None of these words are sexy. Okay. Not but any it's, of them. It's, it's victory. Sploosh. Okay. Sploosh. Is this Nickelodeon? Sploosh is. What's I don't, going I don't on? Know, right I don't now. know what that one was oh, about. Oh, you the team All right. So, you yeah. got, um, so you've got Singleton coming up. You've got Marion coming up. Anything else? Um. Well, not really. But once we do drop this album, mm-hmm. we are planning to do a couple shows, you know, just yes. like an experience. Yeah, because we are dropping like a little like animation series, you know, about this girl. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I so, love that. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, well, it's actually not about one girl, but it's just, you know, just like all the stories about, you know, all our close friends, you know, we Same just like love them up into you know, one girl. So, you know, mm-hmm. so we're not name dropping or giving out any things, but, you know, it's a classic story. Y'all got to hear it. So. All right. I feel like I know yeah. who is inspired by it. <laughs> it's a couple. It's not one. Hey, I hope you ain't got no, 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 little, no little mangoes right hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> G.I., oh, you've got one of Nairobi's uh, most underground deep house DJs playing at Untamed on the 3rd of June. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, so Untamed basically is a party I'm holding for you know, the people who just like to have a wild ass time, you know, when they go out, you know. So we're nice. going to have your underground deep house DJs. We're going to have people playing urban music. It's just going to be all tastes from different genres. Yeah, so basically it's just a party for partying sake, you know. Yeah. So sub a party yeah. for partying sake. And so he's like called the Omarion after party. And yes. Flirt Vodka is going to be in the building giving out free drinks upon entry. Free cocktails Ooh. at the door for Hello. 
all guests like yeah so free cocktails on entry so entry is only 500 so um, pull up it's oh, actually gonna be all the start. way late. there's gonna be discounts and cocktails as well from treehouse so man you don't wanna miss that gi's got and you on also, lock uncut the cypher season three the yeah. queens hey. I like Ooh, that. The queen. Yeah, I like queen. that. Ooh, yeah. Man. Yeah, so it's an all girl uncut the cypher and it's coming out Ladies. very soon. So you guys make sure to be on the lookout for that. Mm-hmm. And also bar for bar round six Ooh. will be next week happening at the Alchemist every third well on Thursday. For any given Thursday, ten thousand shillings going to a lucky winner who uh, challenges his way to the top yep. and battles his way to winning. And of course the single tenor party party event on Saturday happening at the Alchemist. And uh entrance only a thousand bob and Moreau mm-hmm. will be DJ and Tao Jack. Rooster, Butch yeah, Norman, DJ Lasta, that and DJ Case. Lit. Ukweli is so it's it's a lit lineup. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the one thousand charge? Um. Well, I do know that. Uh. Wait. You mean like 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 what's it come with? Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Oh yeah. Well, I do know that you get um. You get two cocktails Ooh. if you come before um five. What times again? Yeah, five yeah, five yeah. PM, right? You come before five o'clock, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get two cocktails. Yeah, and if you got these little like biting things over. Yeah, like, yeah, and there's gonna be there's okay. gonna be a lot of yeah. taste testing and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's like a sundowner situation. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. I love Drinks. that. It's a great vibe. So it's look good, be, feel look good. Feel good, good. Mm-hmm. feel good. Yes. Drinks. Start your Saturday early. Yes. And then the best are on the lineup, so get ready to dance. Y'all put me on the spot, man. Come on, Maroon. We gotta get you behind the DJ tables man, man. You don't man. DJ. it's been a minute man even i'm excited to hear you, you don't got some auto tune in your mind and now you just that's what? it that's it that's it all right oh. no, you know you know it's all love you know it's all love, you know it's all love. thank I'm you so much for, yeah. thank you so much for coming to the show if people want to follow you where can they hit you up at man man at Moreau. i don't know what exactly it is because people will be saying i'll be messing it up sometimes because it's got like an underscore but i think the underscore is at the end so it's probably just at Moreau. so cool all right yeah. man well if they find you you know i hope you guys find them and uh hit them <laughs> up <laughs> hey. well i know it's Muro underscore on twitter so it's probably the same on everything else oh hell yeah boom Muro, everything else come find me Appreciate yes camera the thank camera. you boom, boom, boom. Guys, you coming through, bro. thank you guys so much for tuning in to The Hum Show. If you want to follow The Good Fam, all you got to do is hit us up on Facebook, What's Good Live, Instagram, WGLive.TV, and Twitter, What's woo, Good woo. underscore <laughs> Live. Then while you're there, check out the motherboard of all good things coming in every Cypher on WGNetworks.TV. That's What's Good Networks on Facebook and Instagram, and on What's Good Night on Twitter. Twitter. My name is Brad Cruz. You can always catch me on <laughs> the, the Linguinator show every Wednesday, and you can catch the Mojo's Club every Friday from 12 to 1 with myself, DJ Di, and Greggy Greg. <laughs> yes, guys, it is your girl Shirley Hero, always repping what's good live. Make sure to tune into Bass Jump every single Wednesday, 1 to 2 p.m. Dope music coming from around the globe directly on a silver platter. Ladies and gentlemen, move on. This is the yes, Hump yes. Show. Catch us next week, same time, same place on WG. That's what's good live. Boom. Yeah.